I need this. Babe, can you slide over a little bit? We're not in the middle. That's good. Oh, that sunlight is doing us really well. And it's doing you well. <laughs> it's doing you well too, love. Yeah, I do kind of love, love. Just a little bit. Okay. I see, I see it on your shoulder stuff. So. Yeah, I, I put some stuff there to create the glow. Yeah, I mean, it's some just there. That's the coconut oil. Just natural. No, it's not. <laughs> Man, coconut oil. You put coconut oil. Natural. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know you all were not expecting to see him. I actually wasn't either. Babe came to town to make my day because I had a really rough couple of days, but he came down to make sure I was okay. I kind of posted something really briefly about it, but not really gonna get into details regarding that, but he's here and I'm always excited to see him. So uh, yeah, guys. We decided that we should do a couple tag video because we realized that some of you guys are new to my channel and have no idea that I'm even married. <laughs> I posted during Father's Day, my future baby daddy and- You got a lot of heat. Yeah, I got some heat. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, babe, we need to fill the new subscribers in because our OGs know what's going on. Absolutely. The newbies kind of need to be filled in. And so we're gonna do that for you guys. I'm also gonna link all of our old videos, not all of them, but I think I have a playlist with Gerard and I. So I'm gonna link that down in the description box and any videos that I feel like would be helpful in helping you all to get some insight on who we are as a couple then those will be linked as well. So this couple tag is gonna be really fun. It's not a whole lot of questions, so shouldn't be a really long video, I hope, but we're gonna see because this one can talk. Yeah. <laughs> Before we get into this video, we're gonna start by telling you all our names and also how long we've been together. I don't know if that's one of the questions, but we're just gonna dive right in with that. So you wanna start, babe? So my name is Gerard Bennett, not Gerard with a G, but Gerard with a J. Yeah. Gerard Bennett. Gerard Bennett. You want to tell them how it's spelled? Because some people still, some people no, say Gerard. Okay. Listen, it's okay. It's okay. J-E, I'll tell you guys. Brother J, Uncle J. J-J. Your cousin J. <laughs> whatever you want to call me, J. It's <laughs> Gerard with a J though, so the J is important. So if you just go with J instead of Gerard, we good. Yeah, but I'll tell you how it's actually spelled. J-E-R-A-R-D. That's how his name is spelled. You sure? I spelled it right, babe. You sure? Yes! I spelled it right. And my name is Mary. Of course, you guys know that because you're following my channel. But um, <laughs> So the first question on the list, where and when did we first meet? You want me to answer or are you going to answer? Yeah, ladies first. Okay, so we have kind of an interesting story in that we connected on Instagram. I won't say we met on Instagram because we didn't actually physically meet there, but we connected over Instagram. Gerard slid in my DM. <laughs> and I'll link the video where we go into further detail regarding that. And we actually met in person, was it like two months later, I believe? Like uh, It was several months about later. About two months, several two or months three later. months later? It was probably uh, about four to five months later, but as she said, yeah, we did. We met via Instagram, or we became introduced to each other yeah. via Instagram. I messaged her, and uh, the actual physical contact of meeting actually took place here in Houston. What date? Uh, it was February the 17th? Yes, I believe. Yes. Yeah, no, February the 17th of 2017. What time? Uh, it was, well, that's another story. Okay. I don't know if they got time for that. It was it was late because I had some issues with my plane. And yeah. I flew here from New Jersey. Mary and I were kind of doing the long distance thing. Well, I was living in Jersey. She was in Texas. And I flew here. And I had some issues with my plane. And I arrived, I'm going to say approximately uh, about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. That was when we formally met. Yeah. February the 17th, 2017. Yes. So we've been together for two years. I don't even know, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah. So yeah, so our story is really unique. Where was your first date? So our first date was, I don't know. Uh... Wow. Oh, oh, I remember, I remember. It was RA Sushi. Absolutely, that same day. So the yeah. day I flew into town, I, Grabbed my rental car and I drove to Mary's place and picked her up and we went to RA Sushi. I was gonna say the Italian place, but, then, but yeah. 
Well, okay. That was Sunday. Well, we, yeah. Okay. So first date, Ari Sushi. Yeah. What was your first impression of me? My first impression, I think your hair was very similar to this, right? You might have been rocking in style. It was similar, yes. Yeah, but you definitely kind of had the big hair flowing. Yeah. Uh, she was beautiful. I think uh, instantly, you know, her her beauty grabs your attention. So my first impression, are you, they're talking about physically, right? They're just, yeah, or, first, it, it could be physical, it could be well, something else intriguing. There was no physical initially, like I said, it was via Instagram, so it wasn't until, you know, four or five Babe, months later. you see the physical on Instagram for sure. My first impression? Yeah, you... No, I, I was, saying, I was saying in person or via Instagram. But even if it was Instagram... Well, via Instagram, Instagram, it was just, I think it was... Uh, the spiritual thing i think yeah. that's what kind of grabbed me i think mary was sharing scripture or something like that and i think we started dialoguing yeah that's what he that. told me so uh i mean you can't ignore the physical but uh like i said it was more or less what she was putting out and uh it resonated with me so i messaged her back and that kind of started from there there is one photo that he talks about all the time that was like oh yeah that one grabbed my attention yeah, yeah. i'm gonna insert it so you guys can see but yeah, so my first impression of Gerard was that, okay, I don't even know if I really had a clear mind when I first met him because I was a little bothered. As he stated, he got here late. So it was hard for me me to really see him, see him because- She held that against me too, <laughs> that I was late, which I have no control over what happens with the I airplane. understand. I understood after, but I did not, I don't know. I. Tardiness is a bit of a pet peeve of mine. Wow. I'm not always on time, but tardiness is something I really strive to to be good at. And the first impression, first time meeting me, and he's getting there super late, it bothered me. But um, yeah, I thought he was a sweet guy when I first met him, but it was hard for me to really see him like I see him now because he was late. So the next question. She's tough, guys. I'm not tough, she babe. She is really tough. <laughs> the mirror you guys know that's sweet and innocent. I am sweet and innocent, babe. Tough. <laughs> I do give a hard time. Tough. Time. So tough. Listen, she give me smoke every day. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I don't, babe. Okay, the next question is, when did you meet my family? I met her family, I believe it would have been uh, that July. So it would have been July, it might have been her birthday, it might have been like July 18th, 19th of 2017. So that like four or five months later, I met her family. Uh, it's her birthday, her, her, she, Mary also has a twin, yeah. as some of you guys may know. It was uh, her and Martha's birthday and um, what was going on, babe? You flew to New Jersey and we drove down there. Oh, okay. I know what it was. He took, we went on a trip yeah. to Ocean City. Ocean City Beach. And in the process, because we were closer to my family from Ocean City, we decided to, after doing that trip, that we would go and drive. How, how long far was it? It was like six hours? I don't know. It wasn't that bad. Though. Okay, yeah. yeah. It wasn't that far. So we drove to see my family and then we came back um mm -hmm. to jersey yeah to yeah. jersey so that yeah. was the first so time. she flew to new jersey to visit me to go to ocean city beach we drove down to ocean city beach and then we continued to north carolina to yeah so family. what is that about four or five months after we met so yeah i said it was it was july so if i met you in february five months yeah okay and i met his family for the first time Did we go see your family after that, babe? No, it's no. it's it's uh it's just to go to you. I'm thinking. Was it your birthday? No. No. Was it the marathon? Absolutely, it was the marathon. When was the marathon? Was it the that next year? The no. mar yeah, it was it was over a year ago. Oh, so the, okay. the, the the marathon was April Mayish of the following year. So I got so, it right. I did meet them during the marathon. Yeah. That he ran. Yeah, that was the very, very first time meeting anyone. Yeah, and he passed out, guys. We have a video on it, so you guys should watch it. He does yeah. not feel good about Terrible. hearing that, but... I'll be back. He'll be back. I'll be back. I say no. He's not Marathon, doing that again. I'm coming for you. Yeah. So the next one is, who said I love you first? I probably said it. I, I don't you know. probably said it right. 
I probably should. I mean, you you, you love, know you said it. You love her too, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I probably said it. You know you said it first. Nah, I probably said it. I, probably me. I probably let off. You know what I mean? Guess when he said it, though, y'all. Guess. The first day. No, no. The first weekend we met, he said, I love you. You did, babe. So. Bubba. You did. You told me. <laughs> Since we put out all, all our business, we don't put it out there. It's true. You though. told me it was love at first sight. You said you had the butterflies and all that. I didn't say I said it first, though. I think it was like that for you, too, though, man. Right? I ain't no butterfly. I was just hungry. You were just hungry. I was just hungry. <laughs> I flew in from New So it was your stomach growling? I think it was my stomach growling. I don't believe you. I think so. No. <laughs> what is this? This doesn't even make sense. This next question, I don't know who wrote this. What dressing do I always wear? Yeah, it's, it's some of the, the probably mean what dress do I always wear? I I, I couldn't answer that. Mary, uh, she changes up clothes so much. Uh, you got a problem with it? No, no, it's cool. She's very very fashion forward, and I'm certain some of you guys follow her follow her for that reason. Uh, rather be fashion, hair, and makeup. Uh, so she's constantly switching it up. Um, if, if there was a dress that she wore, she probably would maybe only wear once around me. Uh, so it isn't something that she goes to all the time. So I guess that's what that question meant. I have no idea. Uh, I'm not even going to answer this question. Yeah. Weird habit of each other. Weird habit. Let's see. Let's see. I wonder, is it like a weird habit that you and I have together or individually? It's just a weird habit. Uh, a weird habit that... you, I know what you're going to say about me. Uh, what's your weird habit? I don't, I don't know what you think I'm going to say. But, uh, what do I? Okay, I'm not even going to. I don't know. A weird habit he has. I can't think. I know he has a ton of them, but I can't think of one right now. Weird habit. Well, I know one that she would deem to be weird, and we discussed this in other videos, and uh, it seems to bother her that I chew gum. So oh, chewing, yeah. chewing gum is It's something. not that he chews gum, but I he chew chews gum, gum often. at night. It's kind of weird. Gum. So you, you perceive that to be weird? Yeah, that's weird. That That'd is weird. weird. Chewing gum is weird. Yes. So says I didn't say Miss chewing, Naturally Married. I didn't say chewing gum was weird. I said that he chews gum, and I... The fact that he does it at night is not necessarily weird, but he has to have gum after almost every meal. That's fine. Clean my teeth, you know. I, mean? I get it, but like Gerard doesn't chew quietly either, so it's like oh. I'm great. Yeah, I'm so great, great chewer. Okay, you're a um, chewer. We're we're habit of Miss Naturally Mary. I would say that she always has to have chapstick. I knew you're gonna say that. <laughs> very very strange to me. Like, you know, we could be in the middle of. And she like, where's my chapstick? <laughs> I don't like what? my lips, guys. I can't stand it. Literally. And it's weird because it's not something that I don't enjoy for myself, but I don't like looking at well, somebody babe. that has dry lips either. Well, so babe. when his lips look dry, I literally am like, babe, take some of my chapstick. <laughs> Kiss me so her lips will be more not dry. Not now. Don't stop me. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Have you ever heard the saying, never mess with a dog while he's eating? Babe, stop. No, I'm not talking about eating, eating, but <laughs> I'm working, and you asking me about some chapstick. I don't like my lips to be dry. Yeah, guys. so that, that chapstick thing is. Is man, anybody else is like that? Person. I told you right. And I want I want to get her one that she can maybe attach somewhere that is like always with her. You know how these parents have those Zippo things that's attached to something. Oh I think she goodness. needs something with chapstick. It's like I probably like that. Honestly. It's in the bed with her every night, and she just. The minute she wakes up in the morning, it. she's putting it on. Oh, don't let her lose it. That's like a crisis <laughs> within itself. You know what I mean? And it ain't like she doesn't have a bunch of them. She's often looking for specific ones. Not that one. I'm looking for my other one. It's like, it what? It moisturizes my lips better. Yeah, so we got to work on getting you a sponsorship. Then. What's the company? Let's shout them out. We got we got Chapstick? <laughs> Chapstick. Uh, DM her or send her a message. What is the we other gotta, one? I we got to get this partnership going. 
It's it's a it's a Dollar Tree brand. It's not even expensive. We gotta reach out. That's to my them. favorite kind. I gotta figure out what that one is. Send her an email for the partnership. That would be great. Absolutely. Promote the mess out of it. Okay, so the next one. What I often do in my free time. Her free time. Uh, if Mary has, she likes to watch TV and she loves movies. She loves yes. movies. So she has her show. She's followed. Tuesday was a big night for her. Last night was a big night. I that's love a, Tyler Perry. That's a, that's a big TV night for her. She got show after show after Has show. Has and have not. I love that show. Mm -hmm. Tyler Perry did a phenomenal job with that. Absolutely. Uh, and she's a big movie watcher. Yes. And she watches Netflix and she, her and Martha, her twin sister. We're excited. When Martha comes down, we were just talking about this. Like It's going to be great for us to just lay in the bed and watch movies. And watch movies. It's going to be great. But she, babe, he falls asleep me. on a movie, so I don't get to enjoy it with him. I don't like that. Not a movie. I try, though. The he effort is there. Asleep. I try. You can put it on. But once some lights go out, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> True story. What he likes to do in his free time, y'all probably already know. He likes working out. Like, go to the gym. All the time. He yeah. loves working out. He feels like if he does not work out, that... His week is just not going to be good. No, it, I feel a little weird. I feel... He feels uh, very weird. Yeah. I can go a few days and I'm good. Not this one. His yeah. sanity depends on it. He Absolutely. Has to go to the gym. Great, great stress reliever. Yes. How long have we been together? I think we addressed that. No, yeah. I started it, but then I was like, I don't know if that's one of the questions. We kind of addressed we, it. We, we said the February 17th. But okay, but we can still like shed light on it. Like give them an exact number. I'm trying to make this video very long. Babe, just answer the question. How long have we been together? Oh, we've been together since February 17th. Just to, guys, we've been together for two years. I think I just spit what I said. Yeah. We've been together. Well, it's like 29 months if you want to be technical. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit over two years. So going on like approximately two and a half years. We met in February. Let's, let's pretend like they didn't hear it. Babe, no, we're not we going to repeat it. in February of 2017. I flew here. And Babe, now, you already said that. That's what I'm saying. They know already. I'm okay, so we've been already. together for two years, mm -hmm. and we have been married for a year. Yeah. Officially, a little bit over a year, a little bit over year. officially yeah. a year and a month. Yeah, yeah, yes. a month, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What was our first road trip? I think we covered that, too. So we kind of already talked about this trip. It was my birthday trip when we went to Ocean City Beach. That was the one where we saw my family after. So during that time, I actually flew into New Jersey and we took a road trip from there to Ocean City. Okay, so the next question is the first thing that we noticed about each other. So when I first met Gerard, I'm going to be honest, I noticed that he was on the shorter side. <laughs> I was hoping he was taller. He is taller than me, though, but he wasn't as tall as I expected. So that's the first thing I noticed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I guess we're doing with the in person. So I, I guess the first thing you you would notice when I met her, she, she was just as beautiful, or even more beautiful in person than she was uh, via the gram. So that was that was that was good. That Thanks, was good. babe. Uh, the next one, what ticks you off? Yeah, I can't really think of anything. I don't keep like a, a, a running journal of things that Mary does that get on my nerves. But uh, she has her own u unique way, unique things, whether it be, as I alluded to earlier, the chapstick thing, you know. But that doesn't uh, take you off. Yeah, none of it really bothers me. Like, I, like I, I'm not like easily bothered by a lot of things. Uh, yeah, she either, just, right? She just has her way. Uh, don't let her get hungry. <laughs> She'll get really grumpy, you know. Uh, Sometimes I wish she would be a little bit more patient, you know, uh, but I don't know. That's a tough question because we're good. We're good. But we're good. We have, we have, we have things that we disagree about. Don't get me wrong. Uh, we're not like always just, just glib. Everything's great. Cause like I told y'all, she always at my neck. <laughs> it's always. not true. She stay at it. So, but, uh, it, go ahead. It's, it's deserving when he says something about patience, like, my patients, I feel like most people would consider it's pretty normal. Mm. Like, I don't feel like I'm somebody who is just in a rush to get things done or I'm unreasonable in what I ask to be done. Mm -hmm. But Gerard kind of takes his time doing things. So it's like, okay, babe, like, let's mm. plan this out a little better so you can get it done quickly mm. and effectively. But nevertheless, what takes me off about Gerard 
is he has a limited amount of empathy. His ability to make connections with others and put himself in their shoes, that's something that God is really working with him on. Because usually when I have a situation that bothers me, he always tries to respond from his perspective as to what he would do to handle it. And he's always like, oh, just, just, it'll be okay. Don't let it bother. No, he don't even say it. it'll be okay. He'll be like, don't let it bother you. <laughs> and for me, I feel like he's dismissing how I feel about it. Right. Just slapping a, oh, don't let it bother you. I feel like he's kind of saying, get over it. And I need him. My hair is falling out. <laughs> No, and she, I need him to have more empathy. She wants me just to, and I'm certain I'll lead off with something, but I, I don't stay there very long. She wants me to really lay on the fact that this is tragic. You know, no. this is World War II, War Three. That's you know, not true. Like it's this is really really tough. And for me, like I tell my wife all the time, I, I put a lot of things into perspective, and anything short of somebody dying, we we. We can express how we feel about it, but guess what? Let's go, you know what I mean? Where my wife is, on the other hand, if we start out the morning, eight or nine o'clock, <laughs> bad, we might as well go to sleep and wake That's up tomorrow. Not true. Because that day <laughs> is over. That's not true. That, I'm the type that, listen, I'm sorry. He, he moves on I'm, listen, listen, I'm sorry. Would you like cheese on your eggs? He gets you know? over something so fast. And I'm a woman. Like, Life we're very sensitive short. beings. Life is too short for that. Hey, no. cheese on your eggs. He'll be ready to start, like, moving to something like, I mean, I'm not going to get into that. No. But tomorrow, will, it, it's from two different extremes. If I bother, nurture me through that situation. No. Console me. I gotta Don't later. rush to just, no. I got to lay there longer because, like I told you. Can't be like, get over it. So, 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 so here I go. She's, and she reluctantly. <laughs> Yes, I want some eggs. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. Get the eggs, ketchup, it's water, whatever, whatever you want. You know what I mean? So it's like, life is too short. You know what I mean? Anything short of like somebody dying, it's like, we can we can get through it. We'll be all right. To you know some degree, I, mean? I love that about him, that he moves on quickly. But on the other hand, it's like, okay, I need you to live in this moment and let yeah. me just vent. Let me Later. have a moment. Because I don't feel like I complain about too much. I'm a very, like I told you guys, I'm a very reasonable person. And if something bothers me, I just need you to be there to be my shoulder to lean on. Absolutely. And how, I just slap or get over it. But or, how often can you get bothered? <laughs> See, that's, they, the, that's the just, thing. That's the, my wife is, her, her new nickname, we're going to change, we're going to call her Flower from now on out. Not only is she beautiful. She smells she smell like a flower too. Not only she's beautiful and she smells good, uh, she's really delicate. So you have to handle her with a lot of love and care and attention. A lot of and times, um, yeah, I guess I could, I could, I could handle her roughly. I guess. Yeah, because he thinks we are best friends, but Gerard thinks that because we're so close that he can interact with me like he would his homies, yeah. and I'm not about that. Like I'm your homie. I'm your girl homie, not your guy homie. So there are certain things that he might say to his guy friends that I'm yeah. going to be like, okay, that was a little rude. Yeah. So, so it's funny too, because my wife, as I keep saying, she has a sister and they're very much alike twins to the core, like in so many ways. And, uh, so similar to how I need to prepare and strategize how I'm gonna approach my wife. My wife sometimes deals with that same dilemma when approaching her sister. And she says, you know, the other day she made a comment. She says, but I have to figure out how, how to present this to her. And a lot of times, given that you know my heart, you know I love you, uh, you know, this is forever, I'm not going anywhere. I feel like I can give it to you straight and not have to put a dress on it and do all these things where, you know, as she stated with her sister, she can't just say what she truly feels. She has to put a dress on it, you know, wrap it in a bow tie and present it very, very nicely to her. Otherwise she'll be offended and upset. And it's like, no, like we're beyond that. It's almost like, you know, 
when you're some around some other people and there's a crowd around, you're kind of uptight. But, you know, when you're around your family, man, for you, you're loose. You, I'm relaxed. I'm chilling, man. What's up? What's going on? So now, because you can kind of just be yourself and give it to the real. So with my wife, because I feel like she knows me, she has my heart, she is my heart, I can just give it to her. And she know it's not coming from a place of me trying to demean her or put her down. Uh, I have to figure out a way to dress it up and do all these things. And it's like, baby, you know I love you. I'm not saying this to her. But I, I feel like I feel. although you are aware of the love and you want to believe that the intent is good, that you shouldn't just you know, give you know, somebody a pass just based you know on the strength of, you know the attention, I know the attention them good. and I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt always. I share with him, you have to make things palatable so that the person that's receiving True. what you're saying receives it in the right manner. So it's not like mm -hmm. if you're cool with somebody, you should just be able to say whatever. Like, mm -hmm. that's not okay. Yeah. But yeah. that's I'm not learning. Working I'm out. learning. I'm learning. Like I said, we're only a year into it and, uh, this is a marathon, so it isn't like, you know, we're going to figure it out. And, that, and that's the beautiful thing. And I often express to, my, express to my wife, you know, these little things that we go through, we should grow through them. And we shouldn't necessarily have to deal with these same issues again. And just to be honest, sometimes it may take me a while of, you know, keep forgetting, keep forgetting yeah. that I need to dress it I'm up. I'm like, I need you dress to it yeah, up, right. <laughs> Dress it up. But now, you know, I'm learning. You know? So now, you know, me, I'm, I'm slower to speak and I'm kind of, strategy and trying to figure out hey how can i say this to my wife without offending her i guess but i am trying to be more patient because i do know that that's an area that god is working with him on so i'm prayerful that that god would give me the grace to continue to be patient through the process because you know it can be a bit of a challenge moving right along the next question is what am i not good at what is she not good at these, these questions are kind of mean. Like, what do you mean, not good? She's awesome. She's just my wife. What do you mean? Uh, well, we know you can't dance. Right? <laughs> that, that, like, that's, that's like, you know what I mean? But I wish I could, is, but it? I can't dance. I'm not good at that. And Gerard's not a good singer. He, but, but if he but, was but a good singer. But I'm a killer singer. dancer, though, right? No, 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 no. Why you didn't mention that then? Uh, because what I'm not you know I'm good. No, you're not. He thinks he can dance. I will insert, I'll link a video where he was trying to dance, y'all. Listen. No, he's not good. Every not dance all. contest back in the day when I was kids, I would always Elementary win. school, they praise every child who tries I to do anything. Won. Every day. I think they just like you. Ask my mom. Ask your mom. Of course, your mom was saying she gonna tell, My mom ain't gonna tell a lie. <laughs> okay, she gonna tell a lie. She know. What am I good at? She's, I mean, she's very talented. I mean, uh, in so many ways, which she, as she alluded to, the things that I'm not, she great singer, which I don't even know if some of you guys know it. It's like a hidden talent of Mary. So every now and then it'll spill out and everybody's like, oh my God, Mary's singing. Like, this girl is amazing. Her voice is crazy. So it's, uh, it's okay. She's an awesome singer uh, and she's very skilled at like uh, hair, makeup. Uh, yeah. I'm getting better at makeup. Yeah, she's skilled. She's skilled. Look at her. Show her, brother. Show her. No way! <laughs> so what are you good at? He's very good at fitness-related things. Um, he's also a very good, well, I should say, for depending on what kind of coach you need. Because he definitely, I've been telling him, he needs to be in a leadership role in somebody's company, like running things. Because he just has this, spirit of being a supervisor or like a manager like he's just meant to lead that he's very good at that so yeah, like you ain't say nothing about my cooking babe i'm gonna my cleaning your cooking. <laughs> i clean my uh, foot he's rubs good at making an omelet he's very good at breakfast meals i'll say that massages yeah he's gotten better at massages the first massage he gave me was so awesome <laughs> I, I was trying to be gentle i didn't know she liked it right <laughs> <laughs> favorite feature about each other let's see your favorite feature to me i love her smile i love her smile i think mary has an amazing smile she gets so mad at me listen so my wife this that's, that's the money maker you the smile. Cannot smile she has a photo. beautiful smile so when she takes a picture she tries to be like a a, a mean and cool girl i don't try to be like, a mean cool girl smile. i try to like 
Smiles. No, smile. smile. Smile from my eyes. Not like I, he always wants to see teeth. And I feel like you can smile and kind of give off a nice smile-ish look. The cool girls. <laughs> without having to always show teeth. Because then it becomes redundant. And I don't want that. I want to mix it up. So your favorite feature about me, I really like his arms. And I oh, also like his legs. Gerard has, oh, I can't say the other one. Oh, like it was your own booty. <laughs> I like it. That's so bad. What did I do? No, I smile. That's so nice. <laughs> okay. The next feature. Oh, oh. that's that. I, I got all thrown off. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Keep it together, Mary. What do we argue about most? What? I just, like, these questions, I feel like they're that's asking a, a lot of negative yeah, stuff. Of like, the energy is. They ain't none of y'all business. Listen, we trying to enjoy the day. I'm visiting my wife. I'm back in Yeah, he just got back on my good side. You bringing up old stuff, man. <laughs> you, you making her remind her of things I did <laughs> just two minutes ago. <laughs> we trying to get over that. <laughs> so okay, the next one. Do I have any weird obsessions? Uh, we... Well, but this is very, very repetitive. Let's give, like, like, I don't, like I said, I, I would, I would deem the chapstick to be very weird, yeah. like at all times. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and maybe the gum chew. Oh, I, I will say this: Gerard is like, he's a germaphobe. Like, and I don't even oh, know if it's yeah. like he has to wash his hands a million times. Literally, if we go to a restaurant, I gotta wash my hands before we left. So what about the anywhere? doorknobs and stuff you touch? <laughs> I don't think about all that. She touched the handle. Yeah, so playing with her dirty phone. <laughs> no, babe. You know she using her phone when she's doing the number two. <laughs> but who thinks about no, <laughs> Everybody is. <laughs> Be quiet. So I'll literally I would have just washed my hand before we left to go to the restaurant. Gerard, he will get to the restaurant and he will literally what, what do you hold? He'll hold like my wrist if we're if, if you don't want to go wash your hands. <laughs> if I don't want to go wash my hands. Why should I contaminate my <laughs> He will hands? not. Gerard literally will not hold my hand. He will like hold my wrist or something. And I'm like, what is that? You too good to hold my hand? Yeah. I had to learn that about him because I thought like, he's yeah. being weird. Like, like no. yeah, he won't hold my hand unless I go wash my hand Cleanliness again. Cleanliness is godliness. <laughs> Cleanliness is next to godliness. Exactly. <laughs> That's the same. You know it. Okay, so the next one. Nicknames for each other. So I call him Bubba. And um, sometimes I also call it, I shorten it, I'll call him Bub. It's the same. Yeah, he calls me Bubba all the time. Bub, Bub, it's just, yeah. we call each other the same nickname. Do you call me anything else? Mm -hmm. no. no. I might attach a butt to it. Bubba butt, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, I don't know, just Bub, Bub, Bae, you know, the standard. Uh, yeah. yeah, so those are our nicknames. Oh, yeah, Bay. Bay, yeah, yeah. Bay too. Next one. What is your favorite restaurant? He loves Chewy's. Like it's Mexican. a Mexican restaurant. Like he loves Mexican. it. Yeah. That's what, that's what I, truthfully, that's why I moved to Texas. <laughs> no, it's not. For the Mex, the Texas. You moved for me. <laughs> the the Tex-Mex is banging in uh, Texas. But we don't go that often because it messes my stomach up. Yeah, she like, doesn't like, like it. it. So if, if wifey doesn't like it, you you so go. you gonna win in your marriage. You don't go. That's how you win. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> that's how you win. That's the secret right there. That's it. <laughs> okay. Um, so what's my favorite? I mean, you don't she doesn't have a, a specific restaurant that she likes, but I know what type of food she likes. She loves hibachi kind of food, just prepared in front of you. Um She's big on like sweet sauces. Yeah. So we can go any restaurant and she's asking them about a sweet sauce. Hey, do you guys have any sweet sauce? So yeah. Something sweet. Uh, she's a uh, food. Like she loves sweet sauces. But her, I would say her favorite thing, if she could eat it and if she was allowed to and it was like totally healthy and okay, she would eat gummy worms. <laughs> Not gummy bears because I'm learning because I, you know, my wife said, "Hey, pick me up some gummies." He come back so with the bears. I'm like, gummy bears. I wanted the worms. She want worms. So if she could, and it was totally healthy, she would. This is the day of my snack every day. But Asian is my favorite. Doritos too. Doritos too. Yeah. So the last one we have to complete the sentence. You're my best friend, lover, uh, spiritual partner. Uh, so many, so many things. Am I describing you? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. There's so many things into one. Uh, my stylist. Uh, it's, it's so much. Um, I said lover, best friend, prayer partner, uh, cuddle buddy. Uh, you don't even be cuddle buddy like Sometimes that. I cuddle, but she hot though. She be making me hot. <laughs> you don't make me hot. It's hard. It's hard. Body heat is crazy. Five minutes a day, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, what else, baby? Um, you don't have to keep going. I'm asking everything. You. The mother of my future children. I mean, future guys, yeah, not yeah. now. I'm not yeah. pregnant. Don't Let, ask that. This is great. This is a great time to clear up. You know, a lot of times I hashtag pictures of me and Mary. Oh yeah. And I often say us three, and a lot of people often hint and think that you know my wife is with child, but unfortunately, when I say it's us three, it's me, her, and the Lord. Not so, really, unfortunately. That's uh, that's pretty awesome. What? Yeah. Right, right, but. That'd be a beautiful thing too yeah. when, when we have that. But yeah, me, her, and God. So I often tag her, tag things as us three, and I'm referring to her. But one day I will mean us three with. Uh, well, no, it's gonna be us four then, because God's well, never gonna four. Leave. Yeah, yeah, he's always there. So yeah. us four. So I guess we'd be a foursome then. <laughs> foursome. <laughs> this is no, it's cool. It's cool. Foursome. Foursome. Yeah. yeah. She'll be with Junior. But um, yeah, I'm sorry. I've been talking too long. Okay, so mine, you're my. Reflection of Christ. Oh, that's huge, man. That's huge. And, I, and I'm learning that, you know what I mean? That's it. That's, that alone is. Yeah, you got a lot to live up to. A heavy to carry, a heavy load to yeah. carry. So. You're my bestie. Bestie, bestie. Uh, you're my rock. Rock, J Rock. Yeah. <laughs> you're my love. Uh, you're my, um, my safety. Or no, you're my security yeah. and my protection. Absolutely. And you're my forever. Forever. That's we said awesome. we we die together. We going out together. 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 <laughs> People gonna show up to the front of the thing and they just getting one. It's gonna be a twofer. It's gonna be a twofer. Both of us. <laughs> twofer. Take us at the same time, Lord. Let's do it. Yeah. So that's the end of this video. I hope it wasn't extremely long, but if it was, yeah. if you stay to the end. You already know. You're, Bubba, you're the MVP. Bubba likes to talk. <laughs> you like to talk. He talked a lot this time. So he's yeah. getting more comfortable on camera. And while we're there, guys, you got to channel. You got to, got to go run yes. and do us a huge favor. Subscribe. Please do, and guys. And follow your boy. I started a YouTube channel. Yes. My wife sparked the idea. and I've been uh, telling him. Start it. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like. Jump in on this YouTube thing. So show your boy some love. Yes. Like, follow, subscribe. Tell your cousin, your auntie, All your of them. friend. Tell everybody about yes. it. Yes. His goal by the end of the year is to at least be at 10,000. Yeah. And I'm going to be honest. I was like, babe. She thought it was ambitious. It, I did. She thought, but listen, check this out, though. Here, here we go. Mary has what you're like, 140. So it's 140,000 of you guys. So I mean... Just a quarter, yeah. not even a quarter, just a, a tenth. Let's see if we can get him beyond that. A goal. tenth would give me the 14th. Because what does God do tomorrow? He exceeds expectations. Absolutely. So, so we just need one tenth of y'all yes. to run over and subscribe to you. Boy, I promise y'all, I'm gonna give y'all some missing. Y'all should have saw our last video. She was together. in there, she it was, was being cool. funny, you know. It was cool. She was, you know, we were relaxed. playing matchmaker, she and was stuff. chill, you know what I'm saying? Like you got it. to see her uncut. What you trying you know to what mean? She was just relaxed, you know. She was giggly, giggly. You know what I mean? We we was just in our rare natural. We had a good state. time. And uh, I'm gonna give y'all some Mary. If y'all want Mary, go follow my page. Oh my I'm goodness! I'm gonna give y'all some missionaries you Mary. For real, I'm gonna give y'all the behind the scenes footage. Yeah, but I think you know what's what really saying? cool about his channel is he's gonna be doing fitness stuff, but he's also gonna be doing things that I'm sure you all, because I have a lot of female followers that you all would enjoy. Um, I've been sharing with him. He needs to share things from a male perspective because often you don't find a great deal of guys who are Christian, who are striving to be more like Christ, who are sharing their perspective on different things that we want to hear about. So I think that's yeah. going to be very beneficial. So I'm excited about him starting this channel. I think it's going to be great. It's, uh -huh. it's He's done great so far. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Go show me some love. Show him some love, guys. And thank you to all of those who have already subscribed to his channel. We really Absolutely. appreciate you guys for all of your well wishes and Everything you guys have done here on this channel and everything that I know you guys are going to do in regards to support on his channel.
So that wraps up this video, guys. Thank you all so much. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Share with your friends, especially those who are commenting about things that they really haven't watched the videos to learn more about. So um, we decided to do this one to help them out and you guys, because you guys wanted to see more of this guy here. So yeah, guys, I hope that you all enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a comment. We love reading your comments, even if we don't respond. We'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys. Thanks, guys. <laughs>